Kids talking to kids about obesity in a way that hits home. That was the backdrop today as Utah athletes, healthcare workers, and the kids themselves kicked off a major new initiative to combat a national epidemic. Ed Yates was there and joins us now. Denny, uh, unfortunately, the stats keep getting grimmer. One in four Utah children are overweight. Ten percent of all Utah kids are now classified as obese. And we're simply following the national trend. Funny. The kinds of visual images kids relate to, but their own peers here deliver the message loud and strong. The average elementary kid will eat two times his weight in potato chips before he gets to junior high. This Utah-produced television spot and others like it will compete on the airwaves now, trying to convince kids it's time to get up, get out, and get active, or become part and parcel of what the Surgeon General says is a national epidemic. Dr. Tamara Lewis calls it an out-of-control train. We've kind of let the train out of the station already. We've, um, in the last 30 years, we've seen a tripling in boys and a doubling in girls about the number of kids that are obese. So now the counterattack. Olympic athletes via the Flying Aces, teachers, Intermountain Healthcare workers, and the kids of Parkview Elementary all joined together today to kick off a long-term campaign called Live or Be They. You guys don't have to be star athletes like these people. All we want you really to do is get out and move. Break away from the gaming chairs, the addiction to TV, the overindulgence in snack foods. Swim, play physical games, run around the park, jump rope, you name it, but do it. For the schools, exercise balls, assemblies, a new website for kids, and new information to family doctors. The campaign is out to counter what Dr. Lewis says is a very heavy-handed market on the other side, promoting a sedentary lifestyle. Again, the kids with these new ads know how to hit home. Pretty effective. Uh, will the campaign really alter the lifestyles of these young people? State Health, IHC, and other groups will follow school kids over the next several years, hoping to actually measure statistically any changes if and when they happen. Not bad on the commercials. Now, those kids are pretty good. 